Yeah. All right, so we're at my niece's, yeah, niece's graduation this weekend. I don't know what happened and when, but I lost my silicone ring and I'm going to be in trouble with the wife if I don't make a new one or have a new one. Just, yeah. Now, I think almost immediately after, gosh, we got married, I switched out the band, the metal band, tungsten or whatever it is, and got a silicone band. So here, a bit dirty, is my actual wedding band. Now, it is a very fetching band, a nice bit of blue in there, but I just hate having something metal on my fingers. Like, that feels awful. So I kind of spilt the beans for this video, but I want to make a silicon ring and let me tell you where this has come from. This is a smart ring that I tried to take apart and then I wanted to make a mold for it. So by accident, I did the ring. This one's too small. And when I say make a mold, 3D printer over there. And then I did make the mold because I have silicon to put in it. I've never used silicon before, by the way. But I think the measurements of this are slightly off. So let's update those right now <laughs> and then print a new one and mold it and save my marriage. <laughs> I actually think it's just here. It is, hello sausage. Here's my plan. Step one, do 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 It's hype music. I do wrap this around my finger to get the right size. You know, I'm not really sure where I was going with that. Now I've been trying to think about how to do this and I'll show you how I do anything in life. This is just the agile methodology framework that I've used my whole career in software engineering. Career, ugh. So you have the idea, then you have, you try it, then you get feedback, All right? So the loop continues around. So you have your idea, you try something, you get feedback from it and you push that feedback back into the idea, do it again. So basically you just continue iterating. But one of the main goals to doing this is that you do small increments of work each time so that you're not wasting loads of effort if it ends up being wrong. So in this case, I could find the problem with this mold or I could print a new ring that is the size of this mold and then check if that fits on my finger versus printing the new mold, putting silicon in it, and then finding out that the silicon doesn't fit. Stupid iPad Pro case. Rub that out. I harped on about this in my review of this M4 iPad. The way this case is set up to try and open it, dumb as hell. All right, so I'm using Shaper 3D. And the problem I have with this mold right now is that it has no base to it. I'm not like overly sure how to do it. Like you would have thought this would be the easy way. Oops. So I'm pretty sure this is the mold that I need. So if I can get this printed, then I can sink the silicon into it and that should be a good, but I need to test. <laughs> I titled this ring piece. Okay, so the ring is gonna be 10 millimeters in height. That seems big, doesn't it? We'll try it. And this is the ring that I want. What do I do first? Heat that baby up. And while that prints, I've got to shave my feet. I have to shave my feet. Look, I don't know if there's any easy way to tell you this, but my feet have gotten so dry and cracked that I'm ashamed to go to get a manicure. So I'm gonna shave them myself. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm gonna shave them myself. I don't wanna implicate my mum here, but I always remember her having like a razor blade to shave her feet for like dry cracked feet. And I was like, that'll never be me. I'll never have that issue. Look where I am now. All right, while I do the hydration test, I bought two shavers. One of them's a cheese grater and the other one's an electric callus remover. 11%. <laughs> All right, let's try the cheese grater first. Oh, nice bit of packaging. Is that a shoehorn as well? <laughs> You imagine keeping that next to your front door so that you can put your shoehorn on afterwards. 
You can get up close and personal. I'm just now realizing how difficult this video is to shoot. So this is the view of the century. Like it's extra sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> it's like I can't feel anything on the calluses, but then I hit normal skin and it really bloody hurts. That is absolutely nasty. Is this even right? Directions for use. Briefly soak skin in warm water with soap. Okie dokie, foot in water. Wow, hot. Take two. I should probably stop it from snowing as much. That's gross. I don't know if you can see, it's getting all like clogged up. That is so nasty. Okay, so forget that. Now how the hell am I meant to open this without scissors? Batteries included. It's so nice. Hopefully I wasn't planning on returning this. Look, I do have my reservations about putting this online for everyone to see, but I know I'm not the only one that has this problem. So hopefully whatever solution I get helps someone else as well. Hello. Yeah, how was your nap, dude? Can you do it on my foot, please? Can you do it just here? Push hard. You see it all coming off? Isn't that gross? <laughs> it's really tickling up here. Ow, dude. I can't believe how bad it is in between my toes here. Ow. <laughs> cramp, cramp. Oh my gosh. So I was going into Jason's Deli the other day to pick up our online order. And I, for the first time, I wasn't wearing socks with my Crocs. I looked down, I was so embarrassed to walk in the store. Ugh. I did also buy these packs of like, it's like a foot bath type thing from Timu. So we'll give those a go as well. I, I don't think this is a one and done type thing. Let's test it. 45%? So does that mean that dead skin was that thick? My left foot doesn't seem anywhere near as bad. Oh. Th this is all me, just here. That's all me. Ruggie, you want some sugar? <laughs> I'm concerned I've gone too low over here and I could really do with an actual manicure. And since my dry hands videos, you guys all suggested that I use O'Keeffe's and they have decided to help out. So we've got a couple of partnered videos coming up with O'Keeffe's to try and get my feet back to a reasonable place. I think I'm going to try this overnight and for a week. It's normally my wife that plays with my feet this much. I'm just kidding. That's not true. <laughs> I can't. I got grease. I got. This is it says it's non greasy. It isn't greasy. That's weird. It's like a dry. Greasy, a dry lubricated. Yeah, you agree? Under my side of the bed. Can you get me a pair of socks, please? Nice job, dude. Thank you, Rookies. That was really good of you. Well done. I also had a load of merch made. These socks being one of them, which I actually really like, but the, it hasn't done particularly well. Oh, those are nice socks, aren't they, Rookies? I'll try this stuff overnight in socks and see how it does. All right, let's go check on the ring. How, oh, it's done. I'm not sure what this film is in the middle, but that's the right size. It's a bit thick, but let's try printing the other one with silicone. Oh gosh. Oh God, okay, we're good. Honey, it has gotten dark in here. It was just hailing outside. So while that cooks up over there, Let's mix up some silicone. Am I saying that weird? Silicone, silicon, silicone Just to be clear, never done this before. Do not swallow. Darn it, what I was hoping for. All right, All right, curing time is three to six hours, so that might have to go in tomorrow's, no? I might be able to get it in the end of this video. Okay, we suggest you wait 24 hours. So the final product will be in tomorrow's vlog. All right, let's just mix one to one. Um, we're not gonna need very much. Uh, it must be down here. What? Is there a little boy in this basement? There is! And now the sun's out and it's bright as hell outside. What's the best way to do this? Oh, don't ask me why I have a syringe. I have them with the needles over there as well. I'm gonna go with one. I think I need more than that, won't I? Let's just go with three of each. Caps on. And so mix a lot. Such a weirdo. Do 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 do. How long have we got to mix for? Three to five minutes. It's not particularly interesting to watch, so let's just skip this bit. Add some dye. 
Here they are. I told you, everything in this office has its place. Sky blue. Let me start with the one drip. That is a cool color. Dude, look at that for a color. Should I put some, I've got sparkles as well. Uh, I'm gonna go with blue. I think that's a terrible idea. I should have gone with a different color, but. Ooh, arts and crafts Oliver. Instead of me bending down, why don't I just move the camera? Oh, Oliver, that's so pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good. I'm gonna throw some red glitter in there too. I'm going crazy today, I know, I'm, I get it. How long have we got left? Uh, so fortunately, we've got about 30 minutes of working time with this because that's only half done. It's got 13 minutes left. Maybe I should stop mixing it. Opportunity to clear up. Oh, I think this is it, darling. You can't, can you even see it? Not really, but you don't really need to. Probably impossible to tell with the light, but there's, yeah, you see the few, three lines that have come across. Oh, I might have the tool. I fear. Oh, you know what would have been really cool? Is if I'd have gotten a time lapse of the hail happening, because I thought it looked quite cool in the grass. But no, I forgot, but that's an idea for next time, because I'm always thinking about kind of creative ways to transition between things. So that would have been a good time, a good way to show off time passing. So if you ever have suggestions or see things that I do, let me know. Because I read, I, I, I mean, this is one of the funny things about, um, TikTok too. Why am I filing the outside? I like replying to comments. I like speaking to people. It's, I think it's amazing. I think it's so cool that people take the time to leave a comment and like interact on a video. I think that's so cool. I enjoy doing it too. Maybe I don't do it enough, but I do like doing it. Let's see how this pours in. Let's set manual focus. Get another angle. I think I've mentioned this before. I do not like this camera. This is the Sony ZV-1. I'm highly thinking about buying the ZV-2 because it's a much wider angle lens. Sorry, much wider angle lens. So I'm thinking about doing a comparison video. And with the DJI Osmo po DJI Pocket 3, Osmo Pocket 3, two bloody many of them in there. Oh, sorry, I'll get you back slightly. Oh gosh. How did I do? <laughs> so bad. Even bloody going down. Oh wait, that's really annoying. I shouldn't have done that. I should have been way more careful. Now I'm gonna have to shave all around the top, aren't I? Done. I just, could I do it with a really sharp knife? Yeah, I could do, I think. Well. Maybe see you in a few hours? Yeah, I'll come down later. See you in a few hours. Just come to check mold. Still, still gummy, gummy, gooey. So not ready yet. 